Hello guys, thanks for joining this session. In this session, we are going to discuss about dot sourcing. This is really very important topic in PowerShell. As in the last session, I have told you the problem of multiple functions within a single file, then it is really very difficult to manage. So in this session, I will demonstrate you what is the problem you are going to face if you are keeping the multiple function and we will also look into the solution which we will get with the help of dot sourcing concept of PowerShell. So let's jump into the PowerShell scripting editor where we will first design some function and then we will intentionally generate some error and after that we will work with the solution which will help us to design a better solution with the dot sourcing. So we are into PowerShell scripting editor but prior to writing any code I wanted to show you the data which we are going to use for this demonstration. So let's look into that. So we have a CSV file called user info. So let's look into that. So here we have some information like username and the email of that user. So what we are going to do, we are going to design two function. One will read this CSV file and after reading that another function will print the username and the email of that user that's it simple program we are going to design which will have two functions first what we will do we will write those scripts within a single file and I will generate some error within that file so that I can showcase that what is the problem with such kind of approach to design the solution and then I will showcase the better way with the help of dot sourcing. So let's close this and jump into PowerShell scripting editor. But prior to that, let's create a folder called scripts over here where we can keep those scripts. Now jump into the PowerShell scripting editor. So let's save this file first and then so now just give a name. We will give it all in one dot ps1 so that we are keeping all the function in single ps file. So save it. So we have saved the file. Let's start writing the program. First function we are going to write which is called function get UDF users info we will give a name like this and in this function we are going to write it like an advanced function which I have mentioned earlier so if you have any doubt you can refer in the function section last session and here we can provide the parameter we are going to pass the path of the CSV file which we are going to use so we will give it a name dollar CSV file this is the parameter name and then we are telling that return and read those files so we are directly returning after reading it so it's a very simple function we are going to read this with the help of import csv module and write csv file whatever the file which we will pass over here that will be read and that will be returned now we will design another function which will get this data and print those data by iterating it so let's write it so there is another function we will call it as so user defined function users and here we will specify again to make it advanced function we can use commandlet binding and here here we will use param and we will use it and the user information the file which we have read over here and we are passing with the help of parameter over here users info and then we are iterating those information how we are iterating it we are using for each this is the loop we are going to use it and here what we will tell grab user in from users info as we are having the user detail over there and we are going to print those value with the help right out and now we will tell that user and we will grab dollar user dot user name it will print the username and the email for this user is email is dollar user dot email so this is pretty much a straightforward function so here we are reading the csv file which i showed you and then in this function we are grabbing the red data and we are printing as an output you can use it for active directory user creation as well office 365 user creation as well but here in this example I'm just using so what we are going to do we are going to generate a bug over here but prior to generating the bugs let's execute this script and see the output what the output we are going to get so to execute let's open PowerShell prompt so how we can execute the script so to execute the script we need to load it into the memory or we need to design another function which will work as an interface that will call both the function and we can directly call that script so let's try with this technique where we are going to design another function which will be calling these two functions one by one and here we will execute that script by calling the script file name so let's go back to the scripting editor once again 
and here design another function that is called call me and here we will call these two function one by one so that we will look into how it is executing so to call it just get the name and the csv file which we are going to pass over here is we have seen that the csv file which is inside the dot sourcing demo and the name of the file is in user info and that is going to store within the variable that is called csv data and this data we will pass to the second function that is our show user udf users just call it and run it and here you need to pass the csv data once it is being done that's it we again need to go back to the powershell prompt let's go back and here we will call that so to execute it you need to write something like this powershell command and operator then we have to use this curly braces star and we need to specify the location of the script over here that is our f drive tutorial then powershell and which is inside demo and we have dot sourcing demo folder and within that we have scripts and we have file name called all in one dot ps1 and the name of the function which we are going to call that we have created the function name was call me so this command you need to write powershell hyphen command and then you have to specify the location and here you have to specify the name of the function from this script now try to execute it so it has given us the output so what we have written just go back and let's look into that so if you remember that we have written two function one is getting the data from csv file and then we are printing it with the formatted output so that is what it is doing but this is not the right way i want my method should be available within the memory so here dot searching comes into picture and that will ease our work so how it will ease our work first of all how we can achieve dot sourcing in powershell let's understand that to make this script available into the memory what we have to do we have to do the following thing first clear it and here we need to use dot this dot we need to specify and then we need to specify the location and the location which we are going to specify the dot sourcing demo here scripts and here all in one so this dot is nothing but a dot sourcing with the help of this dot what will happen the entire function will be available within the memory so let's run it so now you try to access the function which we have created the function which we have created over here is get udf users info and here we have created another show hyphen udf users so both the function if we want to use or we want to call this call me that is also being available so let's try to do that so let's go back and here you need to specify get hyphen udf and see here we have udf users info and now you can pass you can pass into a variable or you can use it as is but here we are returning the value so we can use a variable over here so what we will do we can use a variable data for data we are going to use d and here we need to specify the location and the location for the csv is dot sourcing now i have provided the location for the csv now execute it now look into what it contains in dollar d so it is containing the csv file into the memory now we will call another function that is our show and here udf users and here we need to pass this dollar d and run it so see here it has executed it why it is executed it because we have used dot sourcing now moving further so now with the help of dot sourcing we are getting all the functions within the memory we can increase the power of this with the help of splitting the code in different different files so that we will get the modularity and then if any changes client is requesting so we need to introduce a new file within the folder instead of changing the complete file in a one go so what i mean to say i can explain you again suppose here client has requested the third functionality where it is calling these two functions together but this time might be problematic in a real time scenario if i am introducing a new function and that will generate some issues for example i have given wrong function name while calling so just give it and run it so what will happen that because of that these two functions are working perfectly fine but what we did in the new function which we have introduced we have given some wrong information or some uh, bug we have introduced which we don't know so what what will happen that it will impact the entire functionality of the application so let's 
run it it will give us an error because we have given a wrong function name over here just to replicate the scenario of work now again load the script into the memory and this time we will call this new function and let's see what will happen so let's go to powershell prompt and this time what we are going to do we are again going to call this script with a dot sourcing so that it will load the data or load the functions within the memory run it so it loaded now this time we are going to call the new function that is the call me function so to do that here we just need to come here call me and enter see here this we have generated the error and it is throwing that error so it is really very problematic so how we can resolve it so to make this application more robust let's do some design changes in this application so the design changes which we are going to do in this we are going to separate the functions all these three functions into three separate files so let's do it now so let's create a file called read csv give it a name over here and we are going to give it a name called read csv dot ps1 and copy this and now paste it to this file. so one functionality we have put into this file now let's create another file that is called so csv data this is just a dummy example so let's save it and call it as a call it as show csv data dot ps1 save it and now we will copy this functionality and paste it over there so here just copy it and paste it over here so now we have two functionality in two different files and again let it be like this way call me we will use it later another thing which we will do now we will change the location of all in one dot ps1 file because we are going to load those functionality which is going to reside into this script folder so we will keep only those file which we want to load a remaining file which is not required we are not going to keep into that so let me remove that file from that location so here i cut this and put it over here so now the next step is we will load the entire script folder into the memory and which will have the functionality for read csv and show csv data into the memory and then we can use that so let's jump into the powershell command prompt and from where we can execute one command that will load the entire script folder into the memory and then we will use it so let's clear it and use our learning in the earlier session whatever we have learned we are going to use the get child item i hope you remember that this is an equivalent command for dir and here we need we are going to pass the path and the path you remember that where we have kept up the script we can tell that dot sourcing demo dot sourcing demo and here we are going to tell scripts we are going to load into the memory so to load that now what we need to do we will use the pipe operator and we will use for each for each object and then here the curly braces and the dot sourcing operator then use dollar and again over here within that we are going to use dollar underscore if you remember that dollar underscore this represent the current object full name so now if you will run it it will load all the script which reside in this location scripts so let's do it so let's run it now if you will check we have uh, something called get udf user info to confirm this earlier i have used the example you might be thinking that it is coming from that so let's do one thing let's change the name of this and do it again what we are going to do we are going to give it a name user info one so that we can test it as well so it is doing the same thing and here udf users one so let's do it now and again we will run it and here we will execute the same command and now again try to run it so here get udf user info one so let's run it and here dd equal to this one and the csv file name over here dot sourcing demo and here the csv user info and let's run it now we will call the show info to do that show hyphen udf users one and then we will pass the dd let's run it so see here it has executed it so what we did we have segregated the functionality wise script and we are 
keeping those script into a folder and we are loading with the dot sourcing over here using for each object loop now suppose your client asking for call me kind of a requirement to introduce a new functionality called call me which is calling these two functions together so if you are introducing that and it is containing any bug and that scenario it will not hamper the application so let's do it so just save a file over here called call me dot ps1 call me and here we are going to introduce a new functionality and give it a name whatever the name which you want to give you can use a standard advanced powershell function but for demonstration purpose i have used basic function over here so here we are going to use it and we have bug exist now also but that is fine so now we have introduced the new functionality this file will not affect if any error which is containing it in this file that will not affect the other functionality of the application for example it is containing a wrong function name if you will run it so let's run it let's load it again and this time again run it and try to call me function call me let's call it so it is throwing an error but that is not affecting the existing functionality so let's rectify this error so that we can complete the demonstration so now we have rectified the error and this time we are going to use user info 1 because we are using users info 1 over here and 1 so now let's run it again go back to command prompt load it and call call me so it executed so this way you can design a robust application within powershell in the next session we are going to discuss about module we will use the same functionality and we will convert it into a module so that every time we don't need to call this function like get child item for each object to load the information into the memory instead of that we will convert it into a module and that will be available within powershell environment so that you can use anytime and that we will achieve through powershell module i hope you enjoyed the session see you in the next session till then bye bye take care